So the look at Speedy Paving Route, uh, we're going to do a demo here, um, which is typically you would be using it on block paving lot we've got here, typically you'd be using it on slabs more this size because of the area we've got and really we're looking at the products in the joints and not the slabs. We're going to just be doing it with block paving here and with joint depths, this product will do between 5 and 50 mil joints. Um, the joints we've got here are probably all about 10 mil each, 10 to 15 mil. Um, so, I'm going to start by mixing it. The easiest way to mix it, you can mix it by hand, but the easiest way to mix it is to do it with a, a drill and paddle. Um, if you were to mix the whole unit, you need 3.4 litres of water. I'm going to probably do about half the unit for what we've got here. It probably, that's probably going to be a bit too much really, but just to make it simple for myself, I'm going to weigh up half the water and then add about half the powder to it. Um, I tend to always mix it up a little bit thicker, um, the, so I'd leave a bit of water out and then add it to get it to the right consistency if, I, if I'm ever doing like a half mix. If you're going for the full amount and so you're mixing the whole tub all at once, then you're really good to just put the 3.4 litres in the bottom of the um, bottom of the container and start going. So I'll weigh out the water now. Normally I've pre-soaked all your slabs, again because I'm on plastic and because what we're doing here I'm not going to pre-soak them all just because it's going to get more messy and more puddles everywhere. Um, Cementitious powder with sand, sand and cement in. to work it into the uh, joints. Alright. And that's it really for life. You're going to leave that now for about 10 to 15 minutes to stiffen up, we'll check the joints like every few, or probably after 10 minutes, and then when it's firm enough, we'll begin to wash it off and take away kind of what you see there. It does look like you've ruined your blocks, but it will look nice, but kind of when it's done. Um, it begins, because the, it's in deeper, it's a cementitious product, and because it's in deeper sections in the grout, in the, in the grout lines, it'll actually begin to firm up and stiffen more there than it will on the top of the blocks. So on the top of the blocks, it should be able to wash away, whereas on the, in the grout lines, it'll begin to stiffen up. So you get around five, 10 minutes once you've mixed a portion you go around five to ten minutes to use it and spread it out after your five to ten minutes is up it'll begin to it'll begin to stiffen at that point um, that's when you need to start washing off you've then probably got it will set in probably about fully set in around 40 minutes or so so we'll leave that for a few minutes and then we'll begin the washing off uh, process you do it gradually over about a 15 minute window or so but you begin to wish it off uh, begin to wash it off after about 15 minutes um,
We normally reckon to end is if you do two wash offs. So, if you kind of get it to this point now, it has begun to firm up in the joints more, but it's not kind of got there quite yet. So, you do that, which then makes sure it isn't setting and staying in your blocks at all. Leave that now for another 10 minutes or so. You'd obviously be doing a much bigger area, really. So, you just normally work from one side to the other, and then you come back to the start, and then you go over to your second wash off. I'm doing it today with a jug and a squeegee, which isn't ideal. It's much easier if you've got maybe a hose or a jet wash because you can just actually begin to wash it off all one way. Um, but it's only a small demo area so really doing it this way isn't too bad because you can just focus on it but when I've done it in the past when I've done it in my house at home I've done it with um, a jet washer it's made it quite it's quite a simple job then you kind of wash it one way the one thing you have to bear in mind is when you're doing it is it's good to have somewhere to wash it off to um, you want to avoid washing it down the drain because unless you put a lot of water down the drain afterwards with uh, it, it is cement so if you were washing it into a drain and you weren't putting enough water down to wash all the cement through and into the sewer could potentially end up blocking your drain up with sand and with cement um, so we really do advise that if you can wash it off into um, say an area which isn't slabbed or if you've kind of got to a point there and that's the best thing to do so um, if you do wash into a drain though you need to make sure you put in plenty of water down so you haven't got it setting in there so we'll leave that for another few minutes and then I'll go and do a, a second wash off and they should all clean up pretty much by uh, well by then. And really you think it seems like a lot of effort on the day but the fact it's going to then last for probably you know 10 years after then and you're not going to have to do anything else you make that effort on the day of going over it for a third time or washing it you end up with a really good job it's, you know because once it's set it's really difficult to get on because it is a very strong product <laughs> And you do that until the water's coming off is just clear. When the water's coming off is clear, you know there's nothing left on there, which is about now.